Thanks for checking out this video filled with more unusual facts. Today, these unusual facts also very useful. How you can hack your smartphone to simplify your life. And who doesn't need a more simplified life? I might implement every single one of these today. You want to disable background data for your non-essential apps? Many apps run in the background even when you're not using them. And this makes sense for things like email and social media where you might want to know minute by minute that you have a new message or a new comment. But do you really need to know that you've got an update on your games, on notes, on music players, all these things gobbling up battery resources 24-7? Probably not. iOS, you can turn off background data on an app-by-app -app basis. Go to Settings, General, Background App Refresh, and select Apps to Turn Off. With Android, you can restrict background data for each app. You go to Settings, Data Usage, tap on your app of choice, then scroll to the bottom to restrict background data on cellular networks. Note, this is a setting that can also save you from accidentally going over your data plan threshold. Here's tip number two. Disable app notifications that you really don't need. Bugged by annoying app notifications that just keep coming? If you don't know already, these app notifications also drain your phone's battery. So if you want to turn them off on any of your unwanted notifications in your notification bar, long press on the notification for a message box to appear. Tap on App Info, untick Show Notifications, and OK. Here's tip number three. Turn off cellular data usage for certain apps and features that you won't be needing to save battery. Go to Cellular or Data Usage tab under your phone's settings and toggle off cellular data for specific apps that use a lot of your data. Number four, premium versions of your favorite apps can save both data usage and battery power. Yes, we love free apps. Like most free things in life, though, they always come with a price. <laughs> the apps constantly use your data to deliver you different commercials. Number five, don't use your smartphone while you're charging it. Ever wonder why phone manufacturers make such short charging cables? No, the answer is they don't want you to use your phone while you're charging it. Yes, they discourage the idea of simultaneously charging and using it as it reduces battery life to a large extent. Most phones run on Li-ion batteries, and these batteries have a limited charge cycle after which they need to be replaced. Number six, extend your battery with low power mode. Your battery is at a low percentage and you're nowhere near a charger. Don't panic just yet. If your phone is running on iOS 9, Go to Settings, Battery, Lower Power Mode. Siri can do this for you too. By going to Low Power Mode, non-essential tasks are disabled, giving you up to four more hours of battery life. Number seven, disable notifications and turn the Fetch function off. Every time your phone buzzes with a notification on a new Snapchat, tweet, or Instagram, it loses a little bit of power. Keep the notification alerts to a minimum to maximize your battery life. We know you don't want to miss an email, but the fetch function, which is always looking for new mail and pings you with inbox updates, is a major battery drainer. Turn the function off on the weekends at least to extend the battery power while you're out and about. Number eight, put your weather forecast on your lock screen. When you do that, you've got easy, instant access to something you probably use quite often. There are many apps you can choose from, but here are two free ones that we recommend for iPhone and Android. For iPhone, it's Weather Lock Screen, free on iOS. And for Android, it's Beautiful Widgets, free on Android. Number nine, get around storage issues on your Android smartphone with Gmote. One of the major reasons why people usually buy smartphones is so that they're able to play their favorite music and videos. However, this usually comes with some limitations, mainly with regard to storage space. Many people, most of their music and video files are usually stored on their PCs, while just a selected number of files are stored on their smartphones. This thus means that they cannot access their music files and they have to keep deleting some of the files in order to make room for new files. 
This is a great inconvenience for smartphone users. But the good news is that someone saw this and they decided to come up with a simple hack that enables one to stream their music from their PC to their smartphones by using Wi-Fi. Number 10. Capture something important or entertaining. Your friend just made a hilarious typo in a text message and you just gotta share it with your other friends. So capture it as an image with a screenshot. On your iPhone, you can press and hold the home button along with the sleep wake button. You should hear a shutter click. The screenshot will appear in your camera roll or saved photos section. Or saved photos section. On Androids, Hold the power and volume down buttons at the same time. The image is saved to the captured images folder on your gallery app. Thanks for checking out this video filled with more unusual facts.